Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking unbiased product reviews, specifically about household items, most of which I've reviewed on the channel before, but you guys have asked me to do a follow-up now that I've owned these products for several years to see what I like about them, do I still recommend them, and I'm really glad that you're here. Quick disclaimer before I dive into the product reviews, and you can forward ahead to the product you're looking for. There will be chapters down in the description box, but every item item on this list I purchased with my own money. I do not accept products from brands for free, regardless of the fact that I get about 20 emails a day requesting to send me things for review. I have always felt that to be a little bit disingenuous, and from the beginning of my channel, I have been committed to only bringing you guys products that I bought with my own money, that I personally use, that I've personally tried. Nothing is sponsored in this video. I will have affiliate links for a couple of the items, and if you use those links, I will make a small commission. Okay, disclaimer out of the way, let's dive right in to our first item, which is sheets. Now, I will warn you that nothing on this list is incredibly cheap, but everything on this list is an incredible value, and that is how I feel about the category of sheets. You are sleeping more of your life than you're doing really any other activity, and you deserve to have really, really good sheets. Scooby, you okay over there? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> I tried Bowl and Branch for the first time, I want to say maybe three years ago. The set that we bought three years ago, we still use. I absolutely love them. They are so soft. They are organic cotton. They breathe amazingly. I am a very hot sleeper, so that's extremely important to me. They're just awesome. They stretch over the bed beautifully, and I have washed them now oh, I don't know, probably hundreds of times, and I absolutely adore them. They're not only worth the money because of the quality of the bedding, but they're also worth the money because they uh, practice fair labor. They make sure that all of the artisans that make their sheets are receiving a fair wage. And if you know anything about the textile industry, labor is, is classically exploited. It is in clothing too, but textiles, it's really bad. So it's always important to me that I am checking out what the labor practices are of the different things that I'm buying. And Bowl and Branch has all kinds of information on their website. You can go check out about their practices, sustainability, all of that kind of stuff. Now, another brand that I just recently was introduced to is called Delilah Home. I don't have an affiliate link for them or anything, um, but I bought these sheets. It, it was kind of like a friend of a friend, knew the owner, and I was like, hey, I'll give them a try. All organic cotton, all sustainable, all made with fair labor practices. They are slightly less expensive than Bowl and Branch, but the funny thing is I actually like them slightly more, and I'll tell you why. The top sheet is longer on either side. And we have a king size bed, probably a good extra two inches on either side of the bed. And if you are someone who sleeps with someone who is a restless sleeper, you know why this is important because you're not constantly going like this to try to make sure that you have your share of the sheets. I love them. They wash beautifully. I've owned my Delilah home sheets now for I think two years. Again, have washed them dozens of times. So those are the two sheet sets that are in constant rotation on my bed, the Bowl and Branch sheets and the Delilah Home sheets. Now Delilah Home has an organic cotton line and they also have a hemp line. Um, I use the organic cotton, but I've heard really good things about the hemp line as well. And remember with sheets, you get what you pay for. So if you want that kind of amazingly soft feel and you want to know that they were made with fair labor practices, you're gonna pay a lot. You know, a, an average price for a king size set is gonna set you back as much as $250. There are oftentimes coupon codes available, so definitely shop around. Uh, but I feel that there is no better place to spend a good amount of money. And it's, it's a good value because they will last for years and they add to your quality of sleep. And really, there's nothing more important to me than a good night's sleep. All right, the second item is something that I reviewed here on the channel and so many of you guys have asked me to do a follow-up and that is my very expensive, very beautiful SIBO Dart Vacuum. This is a German machine and prior to getting the SIBO Dart, 
we had broken and had to throw away many, many vacuums, including a beautiful Dyson that I paid a fortune for. So when I went to shop for a new vacuum cleaner after we killed our last Dyson, again, Ed, and, and if you wanna know why we're so hard on vacuum cleaners, it's because of all of the dogs that we rescue. And we rescue a lot of Great Pyrenees, we foster Great Pyrenees, and the hair will just kill any vacuum except for my SIBO dart. Now, you will have sticker shock. Um, this is the one item I don't have an affiliate link for. I found it on Wayfair and I could have used the affiliate link, but it was more expensive on Wayfair than buying it directly through SIBO. And I highly recommend buying directly from SIBO because that is the best way to make sure that you get the warranty coverage on it because it does has, have a five-year warranty on the vacuum itself and a seven-year warranty on the motor, which is kind of unheard of for vacuum cleaners. There are two big things I love about this vacuum, and SIBO makes several different models. I went with the upright model, which absolutely works on hardwood floors. There's a really easy button to press on the top. Um, the roller on it, which is a lot of times where the dog hair will like bind up the vacuum cleaner, just pops out. So I don't know if you've ever spent an hour on the floor with scissors and the roller of a vacuum cleaner trying to get all of the dog hair off of it, I have. But the fact that the roller pops out and it's really easy to remove the hair is like a game changer. And the other thing, because I have a lot of people in my home with allergies and we have unfortunately a lot of carpet, the dust and dander stays in the vacuum bag. I can't, I don't know how they do it, but one of the downsides to a lot of uh, vacuum cleaners with bags is people say that it just kind of pushes the dust back up into the air. This one does not do that. And you can see that like the outside of the bag is perfect, it's clean. It takes all that dust and it keeps it in the bag. And this vacuum cleaner just goes and goes and goes. I have had zero problems with it. I use it multiple times per week. I use it on wood floors, carpet, my upholstered furniture. I use it on my stairs. I use it for everything. And I liked it when I first got it. Now I'm, I like love it. I'm like a televangelist for this vacuum cleaner. It is absolutely hands down the best vacuum cleaner we have ever had. And although it is going to set you back almost $600 worth every single penny. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is also going to cost you a lot, and that is Le Creuset cookware. Now, I only own one piece, and I happen to own the five and a half quart Dutch oven. I asked for it as a Christmas gift several years ago. Some of you might have remembered that if you've been following the channel for a long time, and you asked me for a follow-up. So Le Creuset is a French brand. Uh, they've been around for I don't even know, I think over a hundred years at this point, maybe even longer than that. Their products are warranted for life, for life. So that's, that's a very big deal when something's warranted for life to me. I know there are many, many knockoffs of Le Creuset. There are ceramic cookwares. I know uh, Walmart sells a line. I think Target sells a line. You can get a bunch of it on Amazon but buying the actual Le Creuset is the only way that you're guaranteed it's gonna last your entire life. When I say we use this every day, I mean every day. There are a million different ways you can use it for cooking. The heat conduction is amazing. It looks beautiful. Of course, you wanna follow the cleaning instructions. And then of course, please don't put it in the dishwasher. But I have never had an item in my home that I have used as often as I use that Le Creuset Dutch oven. Highly, highly recommend. Now it is gonna be around $400. But again, this is a great thing to ask for for a gift. And I would say that all of the other pots and pans in my house now get used a fraction of the time because of the majority of the time I am using the Le Creuset. And I really need to buy another one, maybe the smaller version, because honestly, I'll be cooking and then one of my kids is using the Le Creuset and then I'm like all put out because we do have multiple cooks in our kitchen on a pretty regular basis, especially during the holidays. But, um, you know, they've become super trendy in the last few years because they do look beautiful. Like anytime you watch home and garden television, there's always a Le Creuset, uh, you know, Dutch oven there on the stove. But let me tell you, this thing is a workhorse and it is an incredible value worth every penny and I highly recommend it. Our next item I use every day and that is my Mocha Master coffee maker. Now, 
A few years ago, I had a Keurig, like a lot of us did. Uh, the environmental part of the Keurig was starting to bother me. And yes, I know they have the ones you can buy and refill, but they were a huge pain in the neck to refill and do all of that. So I was in the market for a new coffee maker and a friend of mine suggested I check out the Mocha Master. It is spendy. It's not as spendy as some. You can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a coffee machine. But the reviews that I had heard on this coffee maker were almost unbelievable. I wanna say you can find it on sale for like $329. I think I just saw it for sale, in fact, on Wayfair. So if I can find that link, I'll put it below. But it is just the best coffee maker. It makes, if you've ever had like really high-end hotel coffee, that is what the coffee tastes like from this machine. We've had it now two years. We use it every single day. I do grind my own beans myself every morning, so it's kind of a whole process. Um, and it looks a little intimidating at first, but it, it really isn't. It's really a very easy coffee maker to use. And I, I just, now that we use the better coffee maker, I don't think I can ever go back to using anything else. I just love this thing. Now, when you go to look at a coffee maker, you can find options that are as cheap as like 30 bucks and you can go up to thousands of dollars. And I did a lot of research before I landed on the Mocha Master, but it really for me comes down to taste and the technology they use and how the water is heated and how it works with the funnel. You do have a cone filter, which is always preferable to a basket as far as getting really good flavorful coffee. Um, I find we don't get that like sour taste that can sometimes happen if the coffee isn't brewed correctly. And yeah, it makes me happy every day. And I don't know what else I can say that about. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure Mocha Master is a German company. It's German or maybe Dutch. I'll put that down below. Uh, but again, it has a very, very good warranty. Uh, they really do stand by their products. And yeah, I, I cannot recommend it enough. And if, if mine ever broke, I would be very, very sad. <laughs> Okay, the last item I'm gonna talk about in this video is something that I have mentioned ad nauseum on this channel, so I won't go too much into it, but that is my away travel luggage. Now, if you follow me on this channel or on my other channel, I travel at least once a month, and this suitcase has been all over the world, and it has taken a beating. Now, the outside of it is, I'm not gonna lie, starting to look a little worse for wear. I, I kind of like that. I think it looks, a little, I don't know, just really well used. Like a brand new suitcase to me means that you haven't really been using the suitcase, but functionally it is just as good as the very first day I bought it. The wheels have never failed me. They have been pulled over cobblestones and up and down stairs and over all kinds of terrain. And it has just held up so beautifully. Now, Away Travel is another company that does have a lifetime warranty on their products. And I think that's super important as a consumer. When you look at those warranties, that's usually how you know that they can stand by their product. Because if the product wasn't going to last and you offered a lifetime warranty, then they're going to go out of business from paying for, you know, to buy or to replace products for people. If you're in the market for new luggage, if you're looking to buy luggage for maybe a graduate or a wedding gift or a Christmas gift for someone that will last them many, many, many years, probably decades, this is the way to go. Now, I own the Away Travel Bigger Carry-On. Um, their other products are great too, like their secondary bags. I love my everywhere bag, but if you're just gonna buy one thing, go with the actual piece of luggage. Uh, I rarely check a bag. I am almost always carry-on, so the Bigger Carry-On is perfect for me, and I, I just cannot say enough good things, and you will not be sorry. There's nothing worse than having luggage fail on you when you are on a trip, you need it to be reliable. Now, the one thing I would say is because so many people have it, if you're gonna get the black or the blue, which I have the navy blue, do something to personalize it, put a sticker on it. Um, I actually have a big luggage tag with my monogram on it, um, put a ribbon on the handle, something to differentiate your bag from everyone else's because even going through security, I have had someone grab my bag. So we're all in such a hurry when we're at the airport. Imagine if someone grabbed your bag and you're trying to get their attention and it could be disastrous. So definitely personalize it or they have some really fun new colors now. They have like a lilac color and you can really, you know, you could get some fun colors 
colors that would help with that. I'm super boring and I just have the regular navy blue that I use the most often. Um, so yeah, definitely personalize it, but it, it is good, high quality. It will not let you down and I just stand by it 100%. Okay, those are my reviews for today. I actually had a whole bunch more items I could talk about. So if you like this kind of video, please comment below. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if there's a category that you would like me to review, maybe something that I could purchase with my own money and try out for the channel. I love bringing you these in-depth product reviews. And again, all of the links for everything that I mentioned will be down in the description box below. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you're finding joy and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, pause.